Every decade of our life brings something new, some, some new transition. But when we're in our 60s and 70s and beyond, we're dealing with some issues that are brand new. So it's kind of like we're starting all over again. Is it about control? Losing the grip, you get old. Turn to the sea. I don't know how, but you find me. Never too late to get up. Maybe it's not as hard as you think. Some things you cannot change. You feel it, but out of range. Mind is at war, trying to find the answer. You look from every angle. This time I promise you. I am so happy to see you today. Thank you so much for coming back and seeing me and Desi. I hope you had a good week. I had a very cold week. It got up to seven one day. <laughs> but anyway, I'm still shoveling. And you know what? Monday, it's warming up all the way to 32. So <laughs> I'm going to be at the beach sunbathing. No, I'm not. I want to do a video today about living alone. And the reason I want to do this is not just because you asked me, but because when I was talking to my doctor, she said of all the demographics that, you know, come in and out of her office, that seniors are the one group that are the hardest on themselves. And that that just got me thinking, why? Why are seniors so upset with themselves? They're angry they can't do the things they used to do. They look back on their life and they're upset that maybe they didn't do their best. Maybe people won't remember them. They, they feel like they're running out of time. They feel they are no longer part of the world. So I wanted to kind of dive into that. I wanted to share with you how I take care of myself when it comes to all those subjects. Downsizing, upsizing, moving, staying put, being in love, wondering what being in love would be like. <laughs> Desi, what makes you think you deserve a treat? If you give me a cute look, I'll give you a treat. week I am going to be 69. It will be my 69th birthday. How about that? <laughs> Send up a balloon. <laughs> Maybe not. No, I am. I am so grateful that I have lived this long. And you don't live this long without learning some coping skills and things that make well, life a little bit happier and life a little bit easier. And I want to share some of these things with you. First off, one of the things that helped me cope with everything is my dog, Desi. He is a joy every single day. He does something that makes me laugh. He does something every day that teaches me a lesson, and he just gives me so much love, and that opens up my heart to love everything in my life. So having a pet, perhaps a bird, a hamster, a goldfish, a cat, a dog. I think that's very important for us to take care of something. And if we can't have a pet, we can have other things that we take care of, like a garden or maybe a beautiful room in our house where we collect something, we, we nurture it, we take care of it. Just something that brings us joy that we have total control over. And it kind of opens up our heart to, to love. Another thing that helps me out so much is being creative. I love music. I, I love film. I love movies, but I no longer watch scary movies or dramatic movies. Although I might make an exception. There's a couple movies I really want to see, but maybe if I'm with my girlfriends 
or whomever, <laughs> somebody. So much of the time, the signals that we get from the world around us when we get to be a certain age is, well, you're all done. Forget about it. Eat what you want. Do what you want. You know, who cares what you look like? You're 70. <laughs> okay. Well, that doesn't work for me. And one of the things that really comforts me is staying current or trying to stay current. You know, going to the salon and getting kind of a funky haircut and watching my weight. And well, talk about watching my weight. I put on 12 pounds last year after I moved here. And I'm trying to figure out exactly why I did that. I have a couple theories of why I gained that weight, and one is because I always bake cookies or brownies with my grandchildren, <laughs> and I've got to test them to see if they taste okay, you know? <laughs> well, my other theory, too, is that I was really getting an awful lot of exercise, digging ditches for my gardens and decorating the house and painting, and I was just busy, 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 and then all of a sudden, October and November hit, and it was like, oh, well, I'm not as active, but I'm still eating cheeseburgers. What's up with that? <laughs> so anyway, I just went on every diet that you could imagine, and nothing was working. And finally, I went back to counting calories. I know, something I did when I was 14 years old. It's not the carnivore diet, it's not the Mediterranean diet, it's not intermittent fasting, it's just good old counting calories. <laughs> I have lost five pounds in the last two weeks, which is my first real weight loss for a couple months, and I am so grateful. So, who knew? Really, it didn't cost me a dime. I just have to write down what I eat. I can eat what I want, when I want, and it just feels, it feels really good to, to feel in control that if I want to eat an apple, I can have an apple. If I want to have some carbohydrates in my very favorite raisin muffin, I can have that. I'm not restricted by anything. I don't have to just eat huge slabs of bacon all day long. <laughs> wow, I really went on a tangent about my diet, didn't I? Okay, well, getting back to what comforts me, it's, it's just trying to look my best, not saying, oh, forget about it. Nobody's going to look at me. I'm 75 years old. You know, no, it's still fun. It was fun at 16 years old to look the prettiest that I could look, and it's fun at 69 years old trying to figure out, hey, there's a dance tonight. How good can I look? That is never going to go away if I have anything to say about it. So I like to stay current. You know, I don't just like to look at fashion on the internet. I like to actually buy a fashion magazine just like the old days and sit down with a cup of coffee and go through the pages and then just rip out the, the outfits that inspire me. And that helps me with my diet. It helps me with my exercise. And it makes me feel connected. Connected to my femininity. Connected to my womanhood. Connected to my world. That's important to me. I don't want to give that up. Is it about control? Losing the grip you get old. Turn to the sea. I don't know how but you found me Never too late to get up Maybe it's not as hard as you think Some things you cannot change You feel it but out of range one of the things that comforts me so much is my home, making my house a home. And whether I was in a two-bedroom apartment or whether I'm in the house that I'm in now, that gave me a lot of comfort, just 
making where I live cozy and a very welcoming place for people that would come visit me. I wanted my home to reflect who I was. And that was just very important to me. When I was a kid, we moved around a lot until I was about seven years old and we landed at my grandfather's beautiful home. So my home is important. And you ask me every single week, should I be in an apartment or a small home? What do you think? Because my kids are telling me, no, mom, you're too old. You're 72, you're 73. Just get a small little apartment or stay in your small little apartment and forget, forget thinking about a house. It'll be too much for you to handle. So you want to know what's the difference between how I was handling my apartment compared to handling my house here. I have to be completely honest with you. The house that I'm in now is right around 1,300 square feet. My apartment was probably almost right around 900 square feet. Well, a two bedroom apartment runs about 1,500 a month. My mortgage here is under 1,000 a month. So right there, as far as money goes, it's very good for me to be in a home or, you know, a, a place that I can truly afford. And does it take me a lot more physical effort to maintain this house, to make sure that it's clean and presentable? I don't notice any difference. I swear, it takes me about two and a half hours to clean the main floor. And it takes me, I don't know, maybe an hour to clean the second floor. I do an okay job, don't I? I think so. <laughs> I move fast. Now, yes, there's land that I have to take care of, but that's a labor of love, planting flowers and doing all the beautiful things to make your backyard look pretty or your front yard. So I have to say, you know, you don't owe anybody your life. And even though they love you and they mean well, if you really want to move into that little house, if it's the right price in the right area and you feel you can afford it, then you should go for it. What if it doesn't work out? Well, you just sell. <laughs> so I think, I think you, you need to follow your heart. Desi, can you help me? Can you help me? Give me your paw, Desi. Desi, can you help me get up the stairs? Oh, they're so steep. Can you help me? Here, give me your paw. Boy, you're not gonna help me? You're not gonna help me? Where'd you go? Desi, help me get up the stairs. What are you doing? Help me. Can you help me? Can you help me, Des? You're gonna help me. I get asked every week, where did I get these beautiful curtains for my bedroom? Now, I will link below the company that I bought these from off of Amazon, but they do come in a lot of different colors, but they are more beautiful in person than what shows on film. So I don't think you'd be disappointed if you really do want to get these. One thing that really comforts me is being comfortable in my own skin. And it's taken me a long time to feel that way. And I got fired. I got fired last week. I haven't been fired in I don't know how long. But I did, last week I did a sponsored video. and Or I tried to. I've worked for the company before. And I, I worked real hard. I stayed up all night to get them the video early so they could approve it. And it was from my heart because I used their item and I have for years. And they wrote me back and said, oh, it's a great video, but um, no, we can't approve it. 
you put in a very private thing at the end of your video uh, about a woman uh, cooking for seniors and we can't really have that kind of emotion uh, in the videos we pay for. So could you either take that out or could you just insert us in one of your beauty videos <laughs> to which I wrote them back. Well, I'm not really a beauty channel. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Why? I, I've worked for you three other times before. There was, where there was never a problem. You never asked me to follow a script. That's not what my ladies care about. They just want to know if it works or not. And, and she wrote me back. Well, it's not up to me. That's just the policy. That's the company policy. So I expect you to make those changes. And I wrote back, no, no, thank you. And I had such a feeling of freedom. I, at first, I was a little shocked and I thought about the money I was losing and how much, you know, I could have used that. But then I thought, oh, wait, I'm free. I really am free. I, I know who I am. And my priorities were perfection to me. That you were not going to come in and bribe me to ruin my video and give my audience a, a crap version of what I worked all week to bring them. I just wasn't going to do that. I don't care. You could have tripled the money and I wouldn't have done it. And I thought about the other things in life that I didn't want to do. You know, knowing who we are, Knowing what we stand for and what we believe in, our passions, that's so much of our happiness. And, and what, what I think about, I always used to say, you know, aging is a fight and I'm never going to let go of that young girl that I was. I, I, I'm going to put up a fight and I, I'm going to stay anchored to her. And then I realized that in doing that, I was denying myself embracing the classy older woman that I could be. Someone with grace and integrity, someone who knew exactly who she was. It isn't that I have to let go of that young girl that, that I want to hold on to so tightly, but I want to be open now to knowing this is a journey. And there is this older woman now I see, and I like her, and she's just as appealing as that young girl stressing over that favorite lip color oh so long ago. Look at that baby, that is my little snow joe. That has really saved me a lot. It's, it's not a full-fledged snow blower, but it really does the job if the snow is light and it really helped me make a path for Desi and it helps me with my walk up my stairs. I love it. We have been kind down to others pretty well, don't we? We're kind to our pets and we're kind to our neighbors. We're kind to our friends and our family. But what about us? Do you know just how beautiful you are when the sun hits your face in the morning? Do you know how beautiful your voice is when you say, I love you? Do you just... Do you know how fabulous you are? When was the last time you felt so proud that you are who you are? Well, maybe it's time. Maybe it, it, it's time to, to truly show yourself some love and some kindness. Because whenever I see somebody out there screaming and yelling about something, shaking their fist to the sky, I always think that that person is so angry because they're so angry at themselves that they haven't had a peaceful moment alone in years. They're just so mad. They're mad at who they are or what they've become or they fear what they will become. Because anger breeds anger and hate breeds hate. 
the kindness and showing ourselves love. <laughs> if we have a happy life, it's a lot harder to go out our door and start screaming at the world. So yeah, I've learned a lot of things in these 69 years, but I think the biggest thing I've learned is just put down the sword, love yourself. Put it, put it in writing, find the right words, but open your heart to see your own beauty. I don't mean to preach to you. I mean, who am I? I, I get that. <laughs> but if you just try this just once this week, just spend five minutes just thinking about how wonderful you are. I never feel alone anymore, and I'm a lot happier now that I sort of go with the flow. I never know what tomorrow will bring. There are shades of my past that I carry with me, but now, each day is a brand new beginning, and one day can just go on forever. And I love that. Come here, Des. Desi, come here. Where's your sweater? Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. I loved every second. I always do. If you get a chance down below, could you just let us know what's going on in your life right now? How are you doing? Please have yourself a wonderful, happy, warm, safe new week. And when you're done with your week, come back and see me and Desi, okay? All right, it's a deal. We'll be here. What you doing today? How come you have a crooked bow tie? Have you been into the whiskey again? Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs>